pulled this rock out and got wild kingdom in there. Fire ants everywhere. I mean, they're, they're fire ants. They're red. You ever been bitten by fire ants? You know it sucks. And they have their self a nice home here. Things are changing in a big way. I hope they like it. I will not harm them unnecessarily. I don't see the point. They were here before me. Something happened last night. A bird of some sort. Got it. It appears. Um, yeah. <laughs> a piece of plastic. Bird's making a nest or something. But, uh, this is what I got. I left this section. Everything else has been stripped. I got a little pile of brush that I didn't want to carry over to the main pile over there. This is just some of the later gathered stuff. The scratch pile that was left behind from the main removal. And I'm going to work on shoveling or raking this into that. This is some old rotted wood that the previous owners must have 30 years ago put there and just never did anything with. Smoked the chainsaw blade on these old stumps. I of course did not remove a tree that size or that one behind that tree or that one in front of that tree or those back there. Those were already cut down and gone a long time ago. Um, but what I did was just uh, cut the stumps down. I'm not going to grind the stumps. Maybe there will be a morel in it for me. Getting some scratches on these trees. There's a beaver down here. It looks like he's clean, sharpening his teeth on my trees. Which I'm not thankful for. Again, I'm not going to perform any harm on this wild creature. As they spend more time back here than me. But, uh... It kind of sucks. Actually, I saw him out here one day last year. It was the same guy. Got real close to him. There used to be a log here hanging down. He was sitting on the log, and I walked right up to him. We looked at each other, and he plopped in. But this thing is looking good. It used to look like that, where that wall, that boundary is. It used to look like that over here. Matter of fact, it was worse, to be real about it. But I removed everything, took everything down to the ground. Uh, I did remove some little three and four inch with my brush cutter. Um, I'm gonna give this a light raking. I'm gonna do some pole sawing. As you can see, some little, little, uh, little stuff growing on these trees. Just these little thingies. I got a day or two to kill before my grass seed gets here, so I'm gonna start handling these little spriggies. And they're growing off of here. I'm sure these roots get plenty of water. So so close to the so this low down stuff. I'm gonna get these. This is a nice river birch. This is one that was not growing in a giant clump. It's just a couple. It had a little one scraggler. But this nice river birch with this nice bark. I'm gonna let these be. I don't want to take them all down. I want it to be reasonable. But if there are too many of these, it shades the ground and nothing grows. And then you have to rely upon these root systems to retain your soil. As you can see, uh, doesn't do very well. <laughs> uh, it, rocks just get exposed um, and you lose what you have. So I'm doing uh, 40 pounds of bluegrass mix and 40 pounds of red fescue. And, uh, you know, it might not seem... Uh, real crazy right now, but I guarantee this is going to be awesome if the seed takes hold. If not, I don't know exactly know what I'm going to do. But I'm going to get seed and, and straw bale. I'm thinking maybe two straw bales, maybe three. Cover the seed, try to keep it wet. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to get it, keep it wet. I'm just going to keep a sprinkler going 24-7. Here's the river. And a lot of people do have river irrigation. 
pumped up to their yard, to their main yard. Uh, that is in the cards here at some point. But like I said, I got to get these little things, these dead ones. Like this one ain't necessarily dead, but it's shading there. What grows off of it is shading there and it kind of looks ugly. These just have these ones growing like this, which take away from what could be happening up above. So that's really what I'm doing. Um, I'm not really a fan of cutting trees out of vanity. That's not my MO. I'm a, kind of a tree lover. So, got a nice line over there. I might clean that up a little bit more in the future. But right now, it's okay. There's some wood there. I can probably burn that rotted old wood sitting there. This gives a man something to do. And if it works out the way I want it, it's going to be awesome. I like to sit on this oak. That's fun, sitting on that oak. I feel like a kid again. This isn't from me. This just washed up. I'm going to go around with a little bucket here and pick up these rocks. Might as well keep them. Do something with them. So they don't go in the river. I'm going to keep loading this up. Start a little fire there. Doing some sawing. Doing a little raking. Hopefully it doesn't rain. Looks like it wants to. Feels like it. But, uh, yeah. Just a little sit rep, I guess. Update of things. Um, yeah, look at my neighbor's steer. Things falling apart. They put their spoil pile when they built this stair over here in my yard. You can see that mound. That's their grass clippings. Their pine nettles. And uh, the spoil soilage. You know, soil is in the ground. Dirt is dirt that's been placed outside of the ground. So that's really dirt. It's not soil. <laughs> That's the spoil pile that they've, we've now terminated that plan. I'm going to deconstruct that mound and build my own stairway probably down between these two trees. Or I might bring it down right next to their stair. I'm gonna build a good one. Or I could go from over there. I haven't decided. I like this spot a little bit better. Brilliant view. The bank is getting worn away year after year. Part of life. Someday this will cease to flow altogether. Alright, that's all I got. There's a little wild pile over there I'm probably going to keep. Because it's just so clustered together and it kind of protects that soilage on that side. In that far corner.